individuals on yeah. a screen right now are actually from now the inside the residence of uh, Pranabda and you see one of the first dignitaries actually coming in with the mask on little difficult to tell who it is at this point but you already see now dignitaries pouring in to pay their last respects to Pranav Mukherjee. Sanket, this is the residence of uh, Pranav Mukherjee in Delhi, not very large, but one which was said to be one yes. centre for midnight meetings where everything was really talked about, drafted, and he was a man who chose to live here even when bigger bungalows were actually offered to him. Yeah, so what happened was that when he was an MP and he was a minister, he was uh, he was entitled to a Type 7 or a very big size bungalow, uh, which is usually given to uh, cabinet ministers. He refused that and continued to stay in a relatively smaller bungalow at Talkatura Road. Uh, this, however, is not the same bungalow. This is the bungalow which is reserved for uh, ex-presidents. You had uh, President Kalam also stay in this very bungalow. It's called Ten Rajaji Marg. And that's where his body has been laid in state. Uh, now, if you were to ask me who all are going to participate in the program of the wreath laying, uh, at 10.15, you will have the president coming in over here. I'm going to go back uh, uh, in time. So let's begin with the, with, with the who's coming in round. So at 9.20, the Home Secretary was expected. He would have possibly, uh, possibly reached... Uh, then the Defence Secretary at 9.25 a.m. Uh, will carry out the wreath laying. The Chief of Defence Staff and the Service Chiefs, uh, that is the CDS and all the Army, Navy, Air Force Chiefs, are going to uh, be there between 9.30 and 9.36. Hopefully this is what would be happening right now. 9.40 a.m. is when the Cabinet Secretary is expected to be there. Uh, 9.50, the Defence Minister is going to be there. 9.55 a.m., we are expecting the Speaker of the Lok Sabha to be there. 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, exactly uh, about uh, 30 minutes from now, the Prime Minister is ex expected to be there at uh, 10 Rajaji Mark. Uh, then the Vice President at 10.07. And then at 10.15, the President, Ramnath Kovid, is going to be there. Uh, so uh, this, this is uh, the entire schedule as far as uh, uh, wreath laying is concerned, paying of tributes is concerned. Uh, and then, of course, uh, at 2.30 at the Lodi Crematorium in New Delhi, is where he the last rites are going to be performed. So the reason why uh, I'm telling you all of this is because, yes, usually we do report when a very, very senior person uh, uh, dies, then uh, you do have people who uh, pay their tribute, say nice things about them. But here is a person uh, who had a very strong personal connect with people, not just from within his own party. In fact, many would argue his relationship within his party was very, very uh, dented. But hmm. uh, his relationship outside of his political party, someone who would not uh, box himself up in the narrow confines of ideology of a particular party, that is how you define uh, Pranam Mukherjee. Someone who knows that he can and he should go to the RSS headquarters also and then come back and in an interview to Sonia Singh say that uh, I had the courage to go into the lion's den and tell them what, what they're doing wrong. Hmm. So uh, he had that ability but only... Only he in the Congress party, at least in this present-day Congress party, hmm. uh, could pull this off. 